Good morning to everyone. My name is Juan Martinez. I work as a research and development manager for Bodega Senguera. We are a third generation family winery located in Enguera, in Valencia, in Spain. And in this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about good cool pipistrel bats and its relationship with the European grapevine moth Lobesia botrana. This is a publicly funded four-year project that we developed with the Institute Cabanillas of Biodiversidad uh, of the University of Valencia with the association Aba Saja, and the project takes place in our vineyards in Enguera and in Fontanares de Salforins. So what's precisely the threat? The European grapevine moth is the major pest in rich culture worldwide. Let's see what this pest does in the vineyard. First of all, the adult lays its eggs on the grapes, then the caterpillar eats the grapes, and it is this which brings about the infection of Botrytis cinerea. This infection is what can potentially ruin the harvest. And the most vulnerable time for this crop is summertime, from June to August, and is in this period when the moth is more active. So what's the solution? Clearly, there are many, but our project focuses on the bat as the key player in our fight against this pest. And why is bat important? Because they eat a lot of insects. Did you know that a single bat can eat between 80% and 100% of their body mass every night? That means between 1,000 and 3,000 insects per bat per night. Therefore, bats are making money for the farmer. In fact, I would recommend you to read this article, which acted as an inspiration for this project. Pest control service provided by bats in a Mediterranean rice paddies, linking agroecosystem structure to ecological functions. Okay, so look, let's look at the objectives. The main objective of this project is uh, to increase bat population, but, uh, to, to increase biological pest control, sorry, uh, of the European grey vine moth through the establishment of bat boxes in the vineyard. The secondary objectives are firstly to adapt the ecosystem to, uh, bat, to, to increase bat development, secondly to study the biology of the European grey vine moth in all climate conditions, um, we also want to study bat ecology and the effect of bat boxes on its population. And last but not least, sharing good practice in the form of activities associated with bat conservation pest control. What exactly did we do? We set bat boxes on, on poles, uh, 4.5 meters above the ground. Uh, we set two different models. In total we have 157 bat boxes because we set in the past these bat boxes, uh, other bat boxes in, uh, on, on trees. And we monitor uh, the boxes every 15 days. As you can see on the map, we set them on half of the vineyard. And not only do we install bat boxes, but also we monitor their activity through all the sounds bat recorders and moreover we collect bat droppings and do the DNA barcoding in order to identify which insects form its diet. So let's look at the results. At the beginning of March the occupation rate start to grow reaching almost 80% of occupation rate within the first year. As you can see on the graph the bat activity concentrates, concentrates in spring and summer, coinciding with the um, presence of the moth. As you can see on the graph, year by year the occupation rate gets higher, reaching almost 90% in 2022. Additional important data refers to the number of bats per box. Uh, the maximum number reach of bats in, in total uh, uh, is in 2022 700 more than 700 bats. We expect this number to grow again year on year. Now let's look at another interesting result. We have found more than 12 bat species living in our vineyards, some of them with serious conservational problems, and the most abundant, more than 75% 
of the audio's record uh, are from Pipistrel, uh, Cool's Pipistrel, um, which for us is the most important one. Okay, we know that we can attract bats to our vineyard. However, how do we know if these bats are eating in our vineyards? This graph compares bat activity in the vineyards with bat boxes and those without. As we can see, bat activity is significantly higher in vineyards with bat boxes. So the burning question is, are they eating the European grapevine moth? Thanks to the barcode analysis, we know that bats not only eat the European grapevine moth, but three major pests of other crops as well. These are Taumetopoea pitiocampa, Price oleae, and Bactrothea oleae. Some people have asked me whether or not but also eat beneficial insects. And the answer to this question is yes. They can eat certain species of spiders, but you won't find any other predators, non-parasitoids or pollinators. They eat nocturnal insects, including mosquitoes, flies, and other plant-feeding insects. Without a doubt, these results deserve a wine. And so we created Aliats, a Valencian word for allies, in homage to bats and to the way in which organic farming can take a step forward. Indeed, this project has spread its wings thanks to our wonderful customers and clients who use this wonderful story to promote this wonderful wine. Moreover, we have a commitment. For every 100 bottles of Aliats we sell, we give away one bad box to a farmer so as to help him with pest control. All of this is contained on the label. This is not only a research project, not only a wine, but a touristic experience as well. We celebrate bad nights in our vineyards where we share this project with everyone, young and old alike. As a conclusion of this work, bad boxes help to increase bad population in the vineyard and the number of bats grow year by year. Bat colonies live and hunt between 500 and 800 meters around the box. Cool Pipistrel is the most abundant bat species in our conditions, and bats eat Lovesia voltrana, but also other species such as Taumetomea pidiocampa, Price oleae, and Bactrothea oleae. Sharing good practice not only helps to disseminate these results, but sell wine and wine experience for the winery as well. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope you find this project useful for making better organic farming.